into the corridors of justice. Chief Justice Martha Kome says that judiciary is committed to clearing the backlog of cases in the courts. Speaking after launching the small claims court at Meru Law Courts, Kome called on the county bosses to allocate them land for the construction of small claim courts in the counties, saying that it is critical in addressing backlog at the grassroots level. Speaking at the launch of the small claims court at Meru Law Court, Meru County, Chief Justice Martha Kome regretted the delays in determining cases across the country, saying it is denying justice to the people. We are carrying a baggage of many, many cases that we have not finished. We call it backlog of cases. So we must clear that backlog of cases. It's the first thing to do as we climb up. It's the baggage to lessen. The majority of our people are in the low income bracket and the courts deal with the lowest uh, claim values. It has therefore the widest contact with the greatest majority who would seek the relief of justice to redress their grievances in the expeditious manner. Kome further called religious institutions to play their role in imparting good morals to society as a way of reducing disputes that end up in courts. She said that they will be engaging the public in sensitizations on how to access justice through courts and outside the courts. So when we resolve, or as we resolve, we also need to ask ourselves, do we have the where or with the infrastructure? She appealed to county governments to offer land to enable the judiciary, construct courts at the grassroots to bring judicial services closer to the people, sentiment supported by the county governor. We are that the small claims court has moved justice closer to Mwanainchi by addressing high cost of filing and defending suits. I am informed that through the small claims court, one can file a claim and pay as low as below 1000 as filing fees. The small claims court, which resolves disputes within 60 days, has over the past two years had and determined over 14,000 cases.